Hey drummers, this is going to be the first video in a series which is uh, called Practice Drumming Anywhere. Let's call it that one, Practice Drumming Anywhere. And the idea is not to use a pad or, or sticks or to make as little sound as possible. Why? Well, because it's necessary. I've been hearing students complain for decades now that, that well, they didn't have time to practice. And when you ask a question like, oh, were you so busy? Most of the time it's not that they've been busy, but well, they really didn't, either didn't want to practice and, and uh, they were too lazy. And especially these days with all the distraction of uh, social media and games and Netflix and uh, YouTube and whatnot. Or it's, it's, um, it, it, could it could also be a thing of like, well, the moment I had time, I wasn't allowed to, to make any more noise because, I don't know, my, my, my sister had to go to bed or the, the neighbor's baby had to go to sleep or whatever the reason may be. This is a common thing I've, I've heard uh, for decades now among a lot of students. And I've been suffering from this too, of course. I, um, even though I'm a professional musician, I don't always have the luxury of, of being able to practice and I really sit behind a set of drums. There may be all sorts of circumstances why we're not um, capable of, of being behind a set of drums. So that's why the, uh, why the idea of practicing drumming anywhere without drums or sticks available is really necessary. So we're going to do a series and um, let's just dive in. We'll start with the bottom triplet. And a bottom triplet, um, that's a, a three note grouping uh, really made famous by John Bonham of Led Zeppelin. And wh what he did was basically just play a three note grouping, all single strokes in a triangle like right hand, left hand, bass drum. Right, left, bass. So this is an ideal starting point. You can do it anywhere. You don't need drums to, to practice this because you need to see the shape of a triangle and you're going counterclockwise like uh, 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 da, da. so the moment you start to realize like okay it's a triangle it's a different shape from just a straight line or a square like th those are different feels so our body will respond differently differently to that so that's the first thing you have to really get custom, accustomed to the, the triangle shape now we can practice that anywhere you know you can just go like make it as fast as you want and you can do this anywhere and you don't have to make too much noise to, to practice this so that's that's step one just getting the physical the the, the the idea the shape right and then the feel right of the the the, the physical form of it so that's that. But that's not all, of course, what you can do with it. And this is where it starts to get interesting. You know, not, not just being able to do some pad work without a drum set present, or to just do some, some other physical things like this. There's much more we can do to really get our mind involved. First of all, let's, let's work on counting. I'll be introducing the, the 24 core categories or core principles of rhythm, as I like to call them from my 3D drumming system. And today in lesson one of this series, we'll concentrate on getting counting involved. Now counting, you can do this as a triplet and just make it parallel, you know, symmetrical, like being one, two, three, one, two, three, and count the subdivision of three. So this would be eighth note triplets. So you go like one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three, Simple as that. The problem is with this form of counting, if you go faster and you go like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, I'm already getting the, the syllables mixed up. So I like the, the, the Dutch way of counting a little better, like one and two number, three number, four number, one and two number, because I can get it up to speed a little more. So I can go like one and two number, three number, four number, one and two number, three number, four number. So that's a little easier. 
but still it's it's pretty difficult to get that higher than say one of my two and three and four and one of my two. I'm already mixing up the syllables here as well. So we can then refer to is go to to India to the conical system, and they have a, a system more like tickety 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 or ticketa 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 ticketa. So I'm not really. I'm more interested in the, in the consonants than I'm interested in the vowels. Um, because the consonants, they are responsible, responsible for the, the speed we can get it up to. So the combination here is This is way faster. So you can, you can align it and you can work on timing. Timing is another one of the 24 core principles of rhythm in the 3D drumming system. So you go like and you go constantly like so you, you feel that your timing is right. So when you're in a groove, you no longer have the problem like one and two and three and four. what the hell am I gonna do in, as a fill? Yeah, and you feel like if this is my, my eighth note, then you know that you're gonna do that times three. You know, you're like your right hand is gonna stay on the eighth notes, and these two are gonna fill in. That's the basic principle of a, of a six note triplet feel, um, 16th note triplet feel using the bottom triplet. So you go like one and two and three and five. The problem is the counting. You're not entirely sure of, of where you need to be, so you're more or less um, depending on, on your, your body to, to instruct or, or essentially stay in the right tempo. So the right hand has a, the, the same motion and as a result the same tempo is hit. The problem is when you start orchestrating, which is another core principle, when you start orchestrating around the kit, then the whole body moves. So you can no longer depend on just being like, well, my right hand has a tempo. You know, sometimes you do things which, which goes against that. Yeah, um, cross sticking, for example, which is, uh, this, this, will, this will mess up our balance, essentially. And every time we do something, which involves a little coordination and balance, balance issues. Our sense of timing will also get lost in the process. Or it, it may not get lost, but it will be affected by it anyway. So if we want to overrule that, we got to use our mind. And, and counting is, is, is the most ideal way of, of perfecting that. So what we, do, what we want to do is even at a higher tempo, just don't go like one and two and three and fill in the blanks, but go like big it big it big it big it big it big it big which is my preferred way of counting at faster speeds in triplet feel. So you don't no longer have to really apply the the, the strict conical system from India like tig it dig it dig it but you go like bug it bug it bug it bug it bug it bug it So I go like bagada bagada bagada. And it sounds really weird like this, but if you start orchestrating it around the kit, then I can add a little melody to it. You know, just the height of the toms or a snare. I can go like pa, which is, which is a snare sound to me, or boom, which is more tom, a rack tom, or boom, which is a floor tom sound to me. So if I want to make a triangle, and I orchestrate it a little, and I make a triangle with the right hand, like pa, boom, boom. I can add that to the counting. So instead of going like one, two, three, one, two, three, I can get it up to a certain speed, but the, 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 the limit is quite low, really. And from there, I take it with the other way of counting, like bucket the book the book the 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 And I, I can hear the melody in my head. I can make it even a little more melodic. To really check out like what is the the height and i can go like 
you know, the, the quarter note difference. Dum, dum. So you go like, bang at the boom, and boom, and 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 ba. And all of a sudden, you're, you're practicing in a way more musical sense. So next time you're up for some Bonham triplets, you don't have to sit behind a set of drums and orchestrate it. You can just go like, bang at the boom, and boom, and 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 ba. Or the other way around. You start on a floor tom, for instance, like book it the 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 book it the